Hello and welcome to Major English News, breaking all things breaking news regarding the English major. I'm Davis Blount. And I'm Jacqueline Dunn. Jacqueline, welcome. Uh, we have some exciting news for you. First and foremost, the English reading series will take place Friday at noon in the auditorium of the Harold B. Lee Library. We're happy to welcome Terry Tempest Williams who will be reading some of her pieces. Great. Um, and two weeks from now on Saturday, we will be having the Poetry Slam, Saturday the 17th. Um, it's from 6 to 8, and it should be really fun, yeah. so everyone should come. I believe that's happening at the Wall. Yes. Um, also, Inscape, the Creative Writing Student Journal, is taking submissions until October 15th, and I hear that there are $400 worth of prizes to be given out. So, wow. if you have a poem or a good story, a limerick, um, be, be sure to submit those and, you know, see what happens. Wow, sounds like it's time to get creative. Um, we've also got our six-word story that's still going on. Well, six-word memoir, actually. Mm -hmm. And you know, I am just like on the cusp of getting my sixth word. Well, you better get that in. We're, we're getting close to the deadline here. Right. So, but remember that the hashtag is six word. Um, we're, we're excited to announce our, our guest for my story, the weekly audio podcast, uh, Rachel Ruckert. And Jacqueline, tell me, what would it be like to go on a one-year honeymoon across the world. A one-year honeymoon? That would That's, be amazing. Well, that is the story of Rachel Ruckert, and now she's being paid as a travel blogger to write about it. Wow. And, you know, I'm working on a writing piece, too, right now. It's about Margaret Fuller, and it's so interesting. I love everything that I'm learning, and I want to be able to tell people about it, but only my professor's going to read it. Yeah, that would be more interesting if I knew who Margaret Fuller was, but I am excited to tell you and anyone else who's excited about some of the things that they're writing that the BYU English Symposium is actually looking for submissions. What's a symposium? Well, a symposium is where rich people drink alcoholic beverages, but the BYU English Symposium is a two-day conference hosted by the English department uh, where students can read some of their exemplary work from over the course of the year. So if you have an analytical piece, uh, if you have uh, you know, creative writing, it, pretty much anything uh, that you feel is worthy of a symposium. Okay, so when when is the symposium? So the symposium is in March, mm. but proposals are due by January 29th, so really got to get on that. Okay, we've got Halloween, we've got Thanksgiving, we've got Christmas. I don't what have to worry I, about it. Well, what if I told you, Jacqueline, that on November 1st, there is an early interest form that is due, and if your name is on that document by November 1st, you could be chosen to win some awesome cash prizes. Okay, but I can't write my paper by November 1st. Well, Jacqueline, the thing is, all you really have to have is your name and a general idea of what you might be interested in writing about. That's it? I don't even have to have anything really written, just the idea? No, ma'am. Wow, okay. Uh, yeah, the, the purpose of this form is so that the members of the symposium can work with those who are thinking about submitting, trying to get kind of an airtight proposal. Wait. They're going to help me. Oh yeah. So so I I get to write this paper and I get to research all the things I want to and then someone's going to help me make it better? Is that what you're saying? And you might even get money for doing it. Wow. So be sure to keep an eye out this Tuesday for an email that will be coming from the English department. Click on that link and put your name down. Uh, we want to thank you for tuning in to Major English News, breaking all things breaking news regarding the English major.